Hey guys, Captain Jimmy out here, and we are out here with Chris, Chad. Guys, these are a couple dudes that are uh, with our local battalion in here, our local Ranger Battalion, where I, myself and Hunter both came from. Uh, we were just out here getting it after it today, and we caught your biggest fish ever. Yep. Right? Yeah, and then sure. you caught, well, did you catch anything you haven't caught or anything new? Everything here. Oh, okay. So, all right, we had a lot of firsts on the bay. <laughs> So uh, you can see we, we still got some blood. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so we, obviously we're going to be filling that bucket up with some starve right. Hunter's going to get that boat nice and clean for us, aren't you, Hunter? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And like always, we'll see y'all out on the water. Here we're just going to slowly like lift up one like that in the reel now. Yeah, all right, you just got to keep that tension. Ready? Yep. There you go. Yep. I'm going to spin the boat. Hey guys, right there in that clip, you, you saw me talk or you heard me talk about spinning the boat, okay? So when that fish is running, you know, you can obviously, especially if you got experienced anglers and you're a team that fishes together all the time, you can chase around the boat and all of that. Um, what I like to do is keep one, the person in the corner when, when able and, and I drive the boat. So if the fish is going to go under the boat, so you got your, your rod pointed this way and that fish is like, boom, I'm going under. And, and instead of like going all around the engines and putting unneeded extra tension and maybe letting some slack in the line, the captain, especially if you got those twins, um, which I used to do it on my single engine too. You just spin the boat around and guess what? They slowly lift up on that rod and you don't lose that fish, maintain pressure and you don't have to worry about somebody falling down, getting hurt and uh, going to that courthouse. Uh, hope that helps. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of these clips. Just like that, just like that. That fast reel down, slow lift up. Sweet stick. Good stick. Good stick. That's a nice stick, Air Bod. <laughs> Kingfish! Reel, reel down one more time and just kind of hold them at the surface. Slow lift up. Whoop, whoop. Dude, did something try to eat him? Look at his belly, it's got marks on both sides. Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, guys, so that shot there, I get a lot of grief. Uh, I think some people, it legit annoys them, and obviously, some people just got to comment on something. The clickers. Um, I know they drive some people nuts and people turn them off and I don't really know why. I actually like the sound. But actually, the reason I leave it on is because as a captain, I've got a bunch of things going on, okay? Um, sometimes, not in this case, but you got, got people out there uh, as a charter guy that have never touched a rod or reel. So I leave that clicker engaged. I can tell if the fish is pulling drag, they're reeling against the drag, or they're gaining line all by the sound of the clicker and then I can do the 50 other things that I've got going on at the same time. So that's the reason for the clickers and something to keep in mind. If you have somebody inexperienced on the boat and you're by yourself and you're taking two friends out that don't know what they're doing and you're like, my gosh, they're not telling me when it's pulling drag and what I need to do, turn that clicker on and use those ears. 
Oh, a kingfish is chasing him. Jack's chasing it. Oh, it's an amberjack chasing him. Where's my? Go over there. Go over there. Um, no, I want. I, I want my that thing. I'll get it. I'll get it. You get him. You might have two fish on them. I guess. Yeah, I've never seen a jack chase them like that, but. Oh, bud. Bud. <laughs> Woo! I bet that Jack took another hook. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> Where's that bag of goodness? In the, in the blue box. Okay. On the side. On the side of the box. What's up? What are you looking for? What do you want? You you can do whatever you want. You can use that GoPro and take footage. I can send you all the footage. It's no biggie, bro. Okay, yeah, I'll give you this one. You can be this rolling cameraman. Yeah, the more cameras rolling, the better, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather you dunk ours than yours, dude. I'm getting, like, I, I broke one the other day, so while it's getting replaced, I got to order another one or two anyway. There he is. Kick that rod out of gear. I'll get the rod. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, boom in the boat. That's a fish right there. Is it? Hell yeah. Here you go, brother. Hold that up one more time for me. Get your workout in. Perfect. I mean, I dragged him over the side of the boat like it was a yellow fin. 
I couldn't even lift it over. That's, we got a tuna door, bro. We could have used the tuna door. How'd y'all sink the boat? Amberjack. Guys, that was when you're on the water a lot, you get to see a lot of cool stuff. Um, then there's some stuff you don't see a lot, but when you see it, you're like, heck yeah. So, uh-oh, we got, we got the puppy dogs running around. So, we were we were hooked up on one of those snake kingfish. Hey, Skeeter. Hey, bud. We were hooked up on one of those smaller kingfish in the 10-pound range, and those amberjack were chasing it, and the, and the amberjack hit the lure and guess knocked the kingfish off, and we ended up boating that huge amberjack, which was that ranger's uh, biggest fish he's ever caught. So we were real happy about that. It, it was super neat. So now guys, we're gonna take it to the bottom with some jigging, baby. I can't work it, dude. Oh, there he is. You ready? Yep. Woo! Oh, there he goes. Oh, now he realizes what happened. Do like last time, you gotta beat whatever I brought up. On the new meat stick. Listen to that smooth Jiwa drag, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Keep bigger in the park. There you go. Work him out of there. Work him out of there. I gotta go swimming for it now. Come on now, that thing's brand new. Under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. Yeah, put, put, put that rod I'm gonna spin you off, keep that rod tip super low. Start lifting up, slowly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's how my thing the boat's on. 600 horsepower of sewing machines back there. See what I'm saying about that hook keep? Smooth, baby. Come on, lift up on him. Lift up on him. The more line, the better. Real dumb? What's happening over there? You getting tired? There you go. Work it down. Work it down. Work it down. Lift up. Oh, he just started pulling. Slack, because he'll spit that hook, bro. Beautiful. <laughs> no pressure, dude. If you lose three fish in a day, you swim back. So you lost more fish than you caught, dude. Oh, damn. <laughs> There she is, baby. Another amberjack. Oh no, that's a bull redfish, bro. Oh, shit. Bud, you <laughs> wanted a bass, bud. That's all you had to do is ask. Oh, bud. To pop her for sure. <laughs> but She's about to give birth. Brought her up. Give, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Giving it to you. <laughs> I don't see how you guys are seeing this. I don't know. Struggle over there? A little bit. A little bit. It's starting to come easier now. Yeah, I remember my first fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. There wasn't a bird that day. Oh, okay. We'll see you after. My cricket. Is this a long one, bud? Yeah, he's on. <laughs> no! My gun. All right, there's some color. What do we got? Yes.
my god! <laughs> I got him? Yep. Yeah. I think a different one picked it up than that first one that ate it. I'm coming up on this one. No, no. The first, the first hit I got. That's why I reeled down and reset it because it was not. You want me to drop, drop back down? Or if you, got, yeah, go, go, go ahead. You're good. It's starting to pull a little bit. Or maybe he was just so pissed off. Oh! oh. Well, came out the Damn, water. I just turned my camera off. Yeah, <laughs> come on, Zon. You see what that was? Cobia. Was it short? Yeah, good? it looks short. Yeah, you can tell from just that little thing. Yeah. yeah. It look huge. I've seen a lot of them. A lot of, you know, just fish in general. You can tell by the way they fight. So AJ's go down, Cobia go out. The net is by your right leg, Jimmy. Just that short. Kind of lift up on that, nice and slow. Dude, he's... Guys right there. Oh, there's one with him. Oh, I was an AJ. I was an AJ. You're good. You're good. Lift his head up a little bit. <clears throat> well, guys, that wraps it up. That was uh, Veterans Day. We took a couple local rangers out. It just happened to fall on Veterans Day. We didn't. I didn't even realize it was Veterans Day till Andrew of WTOC um hit us up and um wanted to do a little veterans day update on uh what we do with not lucky uh, our nonprofit. and you you just saw it it's easy guys it's not we're not doing anything crazy special we're just getting these guys out on the water man these are two active duty dudes that are running and gunning working their butts off training their butts off the day before they came on the boat, they they walked rocked with, you know, full battle rattles per se, uh, you know, over 20 miles, you know. So you're probably looking at 175 to 105 pounds of gear, depending on your job. Um, they walked 20 miles. I mean, and, and you're, they're not compensated for this, but well, you know, it's not why they do it. Um, so we're just trying to get them out there. And um, also, you know, to show them if they, uh, when they get out, you know, they can do what they love for fun and get paid for it. So that that's kind of what we do. Uh, those gaff shots, man, me and Hunter, man, especially with them Cobia, that's probably Cappy's fault for uh, chasing all them kingfish. I only chase the Cobia when I'm struggling on the kingfish. Um, so something we need to work on. We we definitely don't call ourselves professionals. And uh, heck, man, everybody can always improve. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try to get better with these tips and stuff and tell you guys more about boat handling and stuff. Everybody concentrates on what cricket caught the fish. Well, man, if you wiggling that cricket right, it don't matter which one you use. You just find some hungry fish, wiggle your cricket right, they're going to eat. Um, I think what's going to be really helpful, what would have helped me a lot, um, or what did help me a lot, what was seeing how guys handle the boat when hooked up on fish, seeing how they handle an angler that's that's less experienced, um, which, you know, if you're the captain, you, you should be a hundred times more experienced than everybody on your boat. Um, I, I'm very fortunate. I get to fish with a lot of people that are better than me. Uh, you know, Blair Wiggins, Jim Ross, uh, Greg down there at Starbright, all, all those guys. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten to fish with Jim yet. I just realized that. We were supposed to, I think, when I was down there with Blair to tarpon fish, and we had the Wiggins weather and got blown out. Jim, we got to talk about that, bud. Uh, anyway, guys, um, I hope you all enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Any suggestions on video, please leave them in the comments. Uh, stay sane. Stay safe, guys. Smile at a stranger. And, of course, we'll see you all out on the water, baby. <laughs>